Welcome. In front of me, I have a Huawei Watch D2, and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch, and you can do it by pressing and holding the crown button. Keep holding it until you see the uh, Huawei logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. Once the watch boots up, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through it by swiping up and down on the screen. Find the language you would like to use, tap on it to select it, and after you select the language, you will need to download and install the uh, Huawei Health application on your phone. And on the Android, it's a bit tricky because we need to first install the uh, app gallery, Huawei app gallery, and then use it to install the Huawei Health. So to install the Huawei app gallery, we need to open the uh, web browser on our phone and download it through the web, web browser. So we need to tap on the browser icon, for example, Chrome, then tap on search and type in uh, appgallery.huawei.com. Once you type it in, tap on search, and it should bring you to this page. And on this page, you have this button right here in the top left corner. This is the download button for the app gallery. So tap on it, tap on install app gallery, and it will start downloading. And once it's done downloading, you will see the pop-up on the screen that it's done, and you can tap on open. And if you don't have the required permissions allowed for the Chrome to uh, launch this application, you will see this pop-up, you need to tap on settings, uh, tap on the switch next to allow app this from the source, then tap on install to install the app gallery. And once the app gallery is done installing, you can tap on open to open it. In the app gallery, tap on next, agree, allow ordinary ID permission. And after a couple of seconds, you should see the main page of the app gallery. Now we need to find the uh, Huawei Health. So tap on the uh, search, type in Huawei Health, and tap on search. And you should see Huawei Health application. Next to it, there should be install button. Tap on this install button. If you see the pop-up, tap on settings, allow from this source, then go back, tap on install again, and wait until it's done uh, downloading. And then you will need to confirm the install again by tapping on install. As you can see, we need to tap on install. It's gonna start installing the Huawei Health application. Once the application is done installing, you will see the open button and you can tap on it to open the Huawei Health application. Uh, after you open the app, you will see probably this page, a uh, service region. And we need to select the region. To do it, tap right here, scroll through the list, find the region you would like to use on your uh, phone or in your app rather. And once you find it, tap on it to select it. And then you can tap on next. Now tap next, agree and allow or ID permission for the physical activity. And once you're done, you should see the health page in the app. Now tap on devices. And here you will see this button called add device. Tap on it, allow the required permission. It will start scanning for the nearby devices and it should detect our Huawei watch to D2 rather, my bad. Once it detects our watch, tap on connect and the app may ask you to log in into a Huawei ID, ID account. If it does, uh, basically log in. If you don't have an account, you can always tap on register right here to make a new one and use it to log in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in. Give me a couple of seconds. Okay, and after you log in, uh, you may need to confirm your identity, identity be, 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 basically. So you will need to and tap on get code and it will send the code to your email address that your account is associated with. So we need to go to the Gmail and here we have the code. I'm gonna copy it and then 
I'm gonna paste it right here and tap on OK to confirm. And after you log in, you will probably need to uh, tap on devices again because the app will restart. And then we need to tap on devices, tap on add device. Oh, I tapped on something else apparently, add device. It will start scanning again, select your, rather tap on connect next to your Huawei Watch D2. Allow or deny the permission for the phone calls. On the watch, confirm by tapping on the check mark. On the phone, tap on pair. You can also authorize to share the contacts. This is useful for the calls. As you can see, it went through further, even though I didn't tap on anything. So we can agree to the terms, tap on next. Here we can uh, allow for the auto updates and auto install for the updates. If you check these boxes, basically the updates will automatically install. If you don't care, you can do it manually. Uh, and then you can tap on continue. Here you can tap on done, continue. And right here we can enable the phone notifications. And this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on cancel and keep this uh, disabled. But if you want to enable it, tap on enable. Uh, it will redirect you to this page. Here you need to find the Huawei Health. Tap on it. Oh, not me fitness, Huawei Health. Tap on the switch next to allow notification access. Tap on allow. And once you allow the notification access, you can go back. And now we can enable the notifications. And then you can enable the notifications for specific applications by tapping on the switch next to the name of the application. And this, this is how it works. Basically, if you enable the notifications, let's say for Discord, and you receive the notification from Discord on your phone, that notification will be forwarded to your watch. If you disable it, it won't be forwarded to your watch. You will see it only on your phone. So that's how it works. OK, then tap on Done. OK, allow or deny the permission for the not, uh, not notifications uh, location. But you can see uh, we're loading something, and I believe it's the subscri subscription plan. Yeah, I don't want it. I don't want it, so I'm gonna skip it. And we can allow or deny the permission for the uh, location. Next, we have the calendar, call logs, access. Those those need, are needed for the notifications, basically. So if you enable the notifications, you will also need to allow some of the uh, permissions. Uh, here we have the tutorial how to measure our um, blood pressure, I believe. And finally, with the permissions done and the tutorials done, you will see the device page for your Huawei Watch D2. And if you wake up the screen on your watch, you will see that you can go through the tutorial. And once you're done, you should see your watch face. And that means that the devices are uh, paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.